So today we're in the Nantucket. This is probably one of the most gorgeous modular homes I've ever been in. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. Now the Nantucket is on display here at Middletown Homes in Buckhannon, West Virginia. And uh, it's a little bit smaller in terms of number of bedrooms. It's only a two bedroom, two bath, but whew, it makes up for it with some charm. I'll tell you that. And uh, it starts right up here with this front porch. Now, with the two bedrooms and two baths, that all sits inside of approximately 1,456 square feet. And if you were interested in this home, it does start at approximately $240,000. But with that, let's get inside. Man, that blue siding, that'll, that'll jump out and get you. But this is the view that you're greeted with when you do a first walk in, you've got this beautiful living room with just tons of windows all throughout it really really brightens it up like the lights they don't hardly do anything in here just because of all the windows but this is your uh front door right here coming in right off of that little wrap around porch and then you've got these vinyl plank floors going i think pretty much throughout the entirety of the home but then as you turn, you start catching glimpses of the kitchen as well as this dining room, which again has more windows looking out onto your little wrap around porch right there. I like it. I always love coming into like new homes, new designs. That's probably what gets me the most. You know, I've, we've toured so many homes at this point, sometimes they can look kind of the same. So whenever one kind of flips the script a little bit, it tickles my fancy. But uh, coming into the kitchen, you've got this little peninsula right here. I was just taking note of how it kind of wraps around right here. You could probably fit maybe two stools comfortably. So it's like a little breakfast table, maybe three, depending on how snuggled up to everybody you want it to be. But then coming into the kitchen, you got a nice little horseshoe style kitchen in here with the dishwasher, lazy Susan, nope. Just tons of storage back there. And then the upper cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. Then the sink, ooh, this is nice. It's got all three of the sink covers and it's all stainless. That's pretty neat. And then you've got the window looking out into the side of your house. Really pretty tile backsplash. Is this a lazy season? No, you got two of these, one on either side. And then you've got the gas stove with a built-in microwave just above it. And then next to that is the refrigerator. Oh man, what do all these doors go to? So this looks like it could go, go, go down into, <laughs> gotta get myself together. This could go down into a, a basement if you had a basement style foundation, uh, or it could just be, you know, a, a normal closet. And then next to that, I don't know if one of these are gonna be a coat closet or a pantry. Neither, we got the water heater. And then from here, you start working your way down back into all the bedrooms. And the first of which that we're gonna hop into is right here on the left. This is the master bedroom. Got a nice little step-in closet right here with some built-ins. And then wait until y'all see this ensuite. It's nice. So you got the pocket door that separates the room from the bathroom itself. And then coming in here, of course, you've got this great big soaking tub. You got the toilet, these big old linen cabinets. And then I like these raised bowl sinks. I'm always a fan of these. 
right there in the double vanity. And then huge shower, tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling, rainfall shower head, another shower head, removable shower head. And again, tons of space down in the shower tray. That's a must these days. Then coming, working our way back down the hall, got another door. We got all types of doors. Got the furnace. This kind of shoots off over here to the laundry room area. Washer dryer hookups. Some nice little cabinets up above that. And then of course this door going out to the side of the house. So if you wanted to, you know, slap yourself a, a garage or a carport over there. And then as we work our way down towards the end of the hall, this is the second full bathroom with the single vanity. Ooh, we've got a nice little medicine cabinet up here. And then a shower and tub. I mean, these shower heads are huge. And then all the way at the back of the house is the second bedroom. and then into its closet. Now there is one more surprise that we gotta go check out. And that's because this home does have a second floor. So while there is only two bedrooms on the main level up here, and I haven't been up here yet, I'm only assuming. It is unfinished, but you could add a couple more bedrooms up here if you wanted to. Because there's tons of space. But you can let me know what you would do with that down in the comments. Now, if you are interested in this home or you wanna know more about Middletown Homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. You can filter based off of price, number of bedrooms, layout, style, all different types of things. Take the tour like you just did and then reach out to the builder and get your dream home underway. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.